Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Oluwale Aboyadi, your conscious creative space intelligence director and creator. And today I'll be talking about space intelligence. You see, for you to do anything, you need space. And that's why in John 1 1, the emphasis was laid in, in the beginning was the world. That means the space, that beginning is space. Yes, for you to create, for you to design, you need space. And there are some sort, there are some kind of creation or some type of design that doesn't flourish in some spaces. So you have to look at the space that is conducive for a particular creativity or design. That is space intelligence, ability to know that in this particular space, this is what I need to do there. This is what cannot be done there. It's a good thing to help you in your creativity and design. Like below, you can see the pictures of space, the International Space Station over there, and you can see the factory, the environment they've created for them to create their space rocket to launch into space. That space that they've created on ground and that space to create their design, their creativity, their product, and their services is unique to what, to what they are doing. So, for example, if you are a Christian and you have a church, that church, you cannot build a mosque into it because you know that the mosque don't belong into the church. That's the way it is. Space intelligence will help you to understand how to live with others and how to accommodate others and how to live in peace. Today, because of lack of space intelligence, a lot of company, a lot of um, nations are at war like the one in Ukraine, in America, fighting all over, and stuff like that. Unrest will come into your space, into your businesses, if you don't understand space intelligence. Now, also, you have to factor this in. When you are using space intelligence, you must beware of name. Because when you name a particular space, that name will help you to perform the functions that is on your mind. For example, when we went to Mars, we used the Mars rover. The reason why we call it the Mars rover, the reason why we named it the Mars Perseverance rover is because we want that Mars Perseverance rover to perform the functions of perseverance in that space, to collect data and information on Mars and send it back to us on Earth. You need that robot, that particular craft, to do what? To persevere. And that's why we gave it the name Mass Perseverance Rover. I'm one of the people that gave it that name. Yes, I was even in Nigeria when I gave it that name before they sent it in to Mass. It's on Facebook. Nobody can deny that. It's only an intelligence that doesn't know the truth about it that will deny that. And that's because they're looking for financial benefits. But with what we are doing, it's good to know that you have somebody that gave the Mass Perseverance Rover its name before it took off into space because that creative journey is still ongoing and I'm sure some of you will witness the eventual development environmental changes that will occur in on Mars yes that's a reality and thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to have creativity and design at Covenant University you are the first university in the entire space of creation in all of the planet known and unknown both in the dream state and in the physical state that has creativity and design as a class at Covenant University. So you're already positioned to design your mind with design mind that will help you launch design thinking as we proceed in our creativity and design journey, even on mass and beyond. I'm Uluwali Aboyadi, your conscious creative space intelligence director and creator. And until next time, stay well and stay blessed. Goodbye.